Um, I received this, and, and, and by the way, subsequently, I've received several emails confirming that these kinds of things are happening in schools. Hi, Vicki. I have grandchildren in the grandchildren in the Wanakee School District. They have been instructed not to take pictures of, make fun of, stare at, or in any way call out the behavior of their classmates who are furries. The furries can choose whether they want to speak or not. The furries are allowed to dress in their choice of furry costumes. The furries can choose not to run in gym class, but instead sit at the feet of their teacher and lick their paws. Barking, hissing, and other similar animal noises are commonplace in the hallways at school. The children have been told that the furries are an identity and they must treat these children normally. And the school administration and teachers have normalized the behavior of the furries in their school. I am appalled. Now, lest you think this just might have been somebody who was trying to, you know, punk us. Um, multiple parents reached out to me after I read that email on the air and said, this is real. It is happening. Kids are permitted to declare themselves furries as an identity. Uh, and they are then protected 